Welcome to the bold analysis. This is more juicy. Some few days ago, I think it was three days ago, I analyzed a speculative analysis asking questions. Why Alice Wahome skipped the last week's cabinet meeting? Number two, skipping that cabinet meeting emerged after uh, the water CS Alice Wahome also uh, did not accompany President William Ruto to the um, to the water projects launch in Mavoko and Narok County. And from my own understanding, by the way, I need to say I did not I was not privy to anything, and I did not get any nod from any insider. But the question that really triggered my thoughts was the fact that President launched projects in Mavoko, Machakos, water projects in Machakos and Narok, and Alice Wahome, who is supposed to be the water CS, was in the country, but never attended it. And then, today, Standard Peg 8 confirms my analysis, and I want us to look at it. The headline here is, Mount Kenya leaders anger as 1.3 billion of key water projects relocated. <laughs> I'm telling you. I want us to look at this story because my question on why Al Swahome did not attend the last week's cabinet meeting and also skipped the two events that were launching water projects has actually been confirmed that the fallout is indeed there. This is what is happening. An allocated 1.3 billion intended for Mount Kenya water projects was reportedly diverted to other regions upsetting the local leaders. According to this article, it is alleged that the National Treasury redirected the funds to secure political support in other areas. And the Ministry through the Ministry of Treasury and economic planning approved the reallocation on March 23rd in response to a request from Water and Sanitation PS Kiprono Rono. Now, this is what happened. There was a 1.3 billion um, uh, fund that was set for construction of, um, of completing of some water projects in the mountain. This is what is in the article. And I want us to get it. 800 million had been approved with 479 million designated for Wiru Dam. Uh, Dam 2 construction in Lari and Gidunguri constituencies. 300 million was allocated for the final phase of water supply from Karemenu Dam and 100 million for the Ithanga Dam project. Now, that money was supposed to be, the, the, the part that I'm doing for you is a project that was supposed to be in the mountain. The Belgium government had pledged 2.5 billion towards that project. But then, Water and Sanitation Cabinet Secretary Alice Wahome distanced herself from the fund reallocation, stating that in an 20th, uh, April 25th letter to the National Treasury, Cabinet Secretary Njuguna Wahome stressed the project's essential and budget requirements called for their reallocation. Now, this is what happened. Mm, National Treasury reallocated from the following projects. That's, that 800 was supposed to be used in this Mount Kenya project, but then they were reallocated to Arthur River Water Development Authority, 300 million. Nairobi Metro Area Bank Water Services, 700, and the others. The funds initially allocated for other projects, including 350 million for the Nalora sewage treatment expansion and 150 million for the Northern Water Works Development Agency, have been diverted. The National Water Harvesting and Ground Exploitation will receive 463 million while water sector program will form 116. Now, what is happening is this. There are some projects that were supposed to be done in the mountain, but because of political expediency and 
Those people are talking because of some political, of gaining political support. The projects have been, uh, um, the projects have been um, redirected. What is happening? Um, um, what exactly, guys, is happening? And I want to tell you without fear of contradiction. Um, this can be seen as a ploy. This can be seen as a ploy to uh, decentralize projects. And of course, I have to agree, it is a bit selfish for the Mount Kenya team to cry out because a project has been taken from that place then to Okambani. And I don't know whether they are also going to use the same narrative against the one that they said against Uhuru Kenyatta. The Gadi Kashoga went to the mountain and told the gullible voters, some of the gullible voters there, that during handshake government, Uhuru Kenyatta directed funds for construction of roads in the mountain for a construction of the road in Nyanza region. And now they are in government. The head of budget is from the mountain. Uh, the budget, head of budget committee in the National Assembly in Didinyoro from the mountain. Treasury is from the mountain. Deputy president is from the mountain. Why now then are funds being diverted for the other projects? And then I want to look at it holistically. I don't want to pull the card of uh, them pursuing maybe self-interest. The dams, this is coming after the Mau Mau Summit Road. A project was also stalled and cancelled. Regardia has promised to revive it, but there is no signs of it coming. It is boiling. Other people say Kabechemka. So, what exactly is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, kindly subscribe to our channel. Clearly from this story, William Samuel Ruto is the person micromanaging the ministries. Secretly, it is not something very normal for a CS Alice Wahome who is in charge of water and in sanitation and irrigation. She is not on the know. While Kiprono Rono, who is the principal secretary in that ministry, could write a letter and divert funds that were meant for that project to to uh, to, to uh, through the treasury without the consent or rather without the knowledge of waziri and you know i don't think it's a problem the problem here is not the fact that a project has been transferred but the manner in which it is done is very shaky alice wahome is saying that she's angry with the fact that william ruto might have coalesced with the PS in the water uh, ministry, in that ministry, and the funds were diverted without her attention. The members of parliament have seen Gadoni Wamushomba, whose constituency was supposed to benefit, and Edward Muriu, Gatanga MP, where constituents were also supposed to benefit, have also said they have tried to escalate this matter to the highest office in the land. But how else? To the mountain people how else are you going to begin for what you believe is yours if you've taken a comfort zone and your only work and that of the deputy president is to shout to the whole country how his work is to you know to ensure william ruto has peace was that the work that you elected for one to do when regard gashagwa is bragging in public that he is the person deciding who is getting the job or rather the shareholders that are getting jobs. What is making it difficult for the same person also to be in a position to know where, which projects are supposed to be budgeted for first? Something is simply adding up. The Mount Kenya voice has gone blunt and it is low and actually it is unheard. Why? Things have gone blunt. Look at it here. Didi Nyoro, the head of budget in the National Assembly, majority leader in the National Assembly, Kimani Chungwa, and Rigadi Gishagwa, their work has been, for the last eight months, is to attack either Uhuru Kenyatta or Railo Denga. And to that, it's just a bit of trying to galvanize political support. But then, 
they cannot negotiate and raise the questions because for me i believe this way i i don't believe there is nothing wrong by diverting but does it go against the rule of equalization that's the question have we diverted all the projects there to combine or other regions so that the mountain remains without it you know that's also the question so what is going on here this Didi Nyoro is the person in the decision making table kimani chungwa and even the treasury is akikuyu from murana <laughs> you know and alice wahome is also from it and that ministry falls under the gadigashagwa ladies and gentlemen so the only person the only new person there the only person who does not come whose interest might not be there is the principal secretary kiprono rono who is a challenger and that's why i say that tutu is micromanaging everything if this could be diverted through the whole of this then you can make all this mount kenya leaders are there but this diversion is made then it's a signal that number two clearly ruto has penetrated the mountain uda caucus and successfully he has divided it and that division is thriving because he has done very well that those people are now weak and vulnerable they are weak and vulnerable and you know how they have been weakened when people came in when this administration came in i think president william ruto realized that the young politicians want to amass some wealth and to my understanding maybe they've been cornered into some few scandals here and there and getting mileage you know getting some personal fortunes now about getting this personal fortunes they've been put in a cage actually the word is they've been caged and they cannot talk and william ruto has been treated he has known very well that number one these people cannot speak in one voice number two they cannot upstage me in the mountain that's what ruto has known very well because people think we are going to get the second term and again he's also telling uh, regadi that musalim davadi is stand by to be a deputy president if you cannot to the line so clearly his matrix has worked infiltrate them divide them control them na sasa ni kuwapanga he wamepangwa and we want myself i said in this video in this podcast that unless mount kenya starts asking questions you not get anything those areas that did not vote for ruto and they will start asking questions they are most likely going to benefit because montana has told ruto mount kenya has told ruto you have our vote we don't want raila we don't want huru you know they said we don't want raila we don't want huru so who do you want you want ruto regard gashago has projected himself as a man who cannot win even if he tries to go and vie for president in 2022 he has projected himself as a man who can only be the least he can be is a spoiler and ruto has seen that and clearly william ruto is looking at a different political matrix in future because of the dynamics and has realized that the magnitude of the lie the magnitude of the promise that has been done in mount kenya is worrying and it cannot you cannot move yourself to the power through the same strategy of promising another good subscriber in this channel was saying that every premise president ruto gets into he must always promise every premise there is a promise so clearly ruto is ruto is telling this mountain people that as you are busy galvanizing and thinking that i must need you for the second term i'm thinking through different alternative and you must give it to him because the 200000 votes and contested clearly can be a signal that maybe you never even won it you never even won it so it's already a signal that um, ruto is feeling insecure and i think it exposes one thing that everything going on 
every project being done is only done under political influence. Does it bring votes on table? If it brings on votes on table, it's going to be done. But those votes that are already locked, and Mountain has said, you know, from all indications, we don't have a presidential candidate. Our only presidential candidate is Raila, is, is, is William Ruto. So he's, he's, he's put them into some sort of comfort zone. Look at how that diversion is done without Alice Wahome. And so, why don't Alice Wahome just leave the cabinet? Yes? Why don't you leave the cabinet? Yes, let, let's see Mount Kenya team resigning. So that I'm seeing Edward Muriu say they are going to talk to the residents and tell the residents what's going on. The most vulnerable thing is you leave. If you feel really you're really short checked, if you're not playing with the residents, you know very well that things are going on. And clearly there is something. I also don't buy it exclusively that it's because of political support. From another wild thought, this could be a corruption in the offing. And someone has just realized that if this project is to be implemented in maybe Mount Kenya, the money is going to be under a different authority. If you look at the money trail, if you look at the diversion, the secrecy of the diversion is a red flag. Some flame is coming from it. The way it has been kept a secret is, could be, that diversion has been diverted to Athi River Water Development Agency. When you see money getting to an agency of of the government, that's a red flag. And it could be, this money or this project has been diverted to that other region so that it can be, they can just change the custodian of the fund. And when you change custodian, then clearly some well-connected people can also benefit from such a project. You know, in the mountain, maybe those who are in charge, those who could be in charge of this project could be maybe the members of parliament, the member of parliament, or um, the agency that is based in the Mount Kenya. And the, maybe the agency that is based in Mount Kenya is more allied towards Rigate Geshagwa or the UDA political leadership. So what these guys have done is to put this money, this diversion has been diverted so that that money can get to someone else who is more friendly to maybe President William Ruta. That's my thought. So could be it can be seen as changing, looking for political support. But that will just be a political narrative. But the details are in the devils. The devil is in the detail. Maybe this diversion has been diverted so that that money can be handled by someone different and that different person can easily abet uh, personal fortunes to the highly connected people in our land. Ladies and gentlemen, UDA, William Ruto is the president. And the whole of these issues going on, he's the man in charge. I remember, this reminds me of 2014, when someone said that when government came in, the deputy president by then William Ruto planted proxies everywhere in all those ministries, especially on procurement. Take this to bank and borrow a loan. Ruto knew what was going on and Alice Wahome could have been left in the dark. It's a matter of wait and see if Rikiji is going to fight this and when. That's my point. And I'm glad that my analysis on Alice Wahome fallout, an observation that I made, has finally been confirmed in this article. Let's meet in the next, guys.